Hey traders, welcome to the Miss Trade uh, Weekend Report. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Happy Sunday to you. It's after the Globex opening um, Sunday evening, and uh, we already have a lot of activity in the market. So I want to start looking at some levels for this week. I'm anticipating uh, some good movement, and we should be able to hit some good levels. So uh, before that, though, two things. First is this pattern. Um, we have really two patterns. We have a, a bear flag, and we have a head and shoulder. It's pretty pretty powerful right there um, and we have a lot of wood to chop to the upside so obviously Friday it played through our follow through and uh, now we've tested that low of that channel since the Globex opening tonight we've been down to the 36 level and bounced up and now are trading back inside this uh, this range right here um, also uh, just a quick uh, word to the wise if you're not trading the December contract the ESZ1 then you need to switch your contracts over and start looking at that data because all the volume has rolled into the December contract we're not trading the September contract any longer so all right let's go take a look at some levels here um, to t I'll give you a few to the upside few to the downside and we'll just see where this thing shakes out on Monday uh, we did have a huge day down on Monday with a big rally in the uh, in the uh, last uh, hour of the uh, market. Um, however, we did cap down quite a bit. We opened down at 36 tonight, uh, which is huge. It's a huge gap there. So we have rallied back up in here. Now, if we were to open up right here um, at 42 tomorrow, where I think we're trading right now, we're trading at 42.50, yes. If we were to open up right here, I would definitely watch the gap to the upside. Okay, that gap to the upside or the settlement is a, is 1152.25. If we were to get some legs above that, there's a level up here I really like. It's the 60 to 63 level. I got a few numbers in this area. Um, that's going to be a powerful level. Now above that, I have a little bit of an area here, and there's a little wiggle room in here. Um, I have the 69s up to the 73 and some uh, and some change. Uh, that area could uh, provide some major uh, resistance and then if we get out of control and start moving up then of course this gap at 80 um, could play come into play as well now on the downside um, we have to watch again the low of Friday which is 40 41 and uh, 41 even and then of course last week's low and last week's lows come in at 32 and a, and a half okay so we have to watch that now below 32 and a half that's when it gets fun because we have some great levels down there I like this this range here at 23 uh, 1123 up into that 1120 eh, you could you need to say 1125 and a half so 1123 to 1125 and a half is a great area right there that should provide some resistance on the first uh, first time down so if you're taking uh, taking profits in this area it's a great area to take profits into and of course uh, further on down uh, there we have the 1110 or excuse me uh, let's just say the 11 11 11 10 level now what is that um, there's been a lot of you know this is a really tough head and shoulders because it's not clean and because of that it's hard to really put a neckline to it but if you take some averages here and I've and I've read some things recently that they're calling for that 11, 11, 11, 10 level as a neckline. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people looking at that level as well. 11, 10 also, if you remember, came into our pl into play in our last contract uh, in the uh, September contract. So I'm going to call it at 11, 10. I will watch that level like a hawk. Um, if we really get weak and start rolling out of bed uh, massively on Monday, which I don't anticipate, uh, 1095s are still in play. We talked about that one a uh, last couple of weeks too so all right guys we've got some levels here um, listen we've been sliding here the market is very weak uh, you're gonna hear a lot of sell the rips um, and that's exactly right a lot of people will be selling rips all the way up to 1200 12 uh, 12 uh, 01 1202 area okay so if the bears are still alive here uh, up to that 1200 area um, that's where people will be getting short um, now they won't be getting short at that 1200 but they'll be getting short in between uh, probably the 1160 area up to the 1174 area with stops above the uh, 1200 so I'm not saying that's what you should do I'm just uh, telling you what people will probably be doing and watching um, so guys tomorrow definitely sit on the sidelines for the first 30 minutes let this thing shake out trade smart uh, pick your targets pick your areas wisely and uh, good trading we'll talk to you on Tuesday take care